Hi, my name is Anna Matsu, and I'm a second year student here at the University of Tokyo studying under the PEAK program. And I'm a J Japan and East Asia student. Um, and I'm from the United States, uh, but originally from Japan. Hi, my name is Eugene Song. I'm from the US, New Zealand, and Korea. And I'm also currently studying the JA program in PEAK. So this is the COMC building, which a lot of the international classes are held. Um, so we have the basement here, which is a lot, is like where we hang out usually. And there's even a cafe. Um, and there's the global office, which helps us um, when we want to go on exchange or anything. And here we have the open space arena, which is actually for quiet studying. And another space that we have here is in the back, we have the MM8, MM Hall, which is for group work, and so there's a lot of student activity going on here. So this is a co-op store, and this is where we buy like our food, our like water, what, like pencil lead, whatever you need. We uh, we have it right here, um, and you can buy it with your Suica, which is like really easy, uh, and so it's our one-stop shop. So this is a Suica card, and we use it for transportation. Um, usually, like people like to put it in the back of their phones, um, and with one touch, you can pay for your transportation or pay for things at the convenience store or even here at the co-op store. So people have three options for lunch, actually four. Um, so this is the first, the cafeteria. Um, the second floor is also a cafeteria, but it serves kind of um, Teishoku style, which is like a set menu. Uh, the third option is Italian tomato, which is a spaghetti restaurant uh, across from the cafeteria. And then people also have the option of buying at the co-op store, like whatever they want. A few years ago, maybe five years ago, the University of Tokyo started a program called PEAK, which stands for Programs in English at Komoba. And um, it's essentially a program for English-speaking students abroad and um, for them to come to Japan and study here for four years. And I thought that program would be perfect for me because I'd be um, learning in English, which is my main language, um, but I'd be able to still live in Japan and experience Japan. So um, that's one of the reasons why I chose the University of Tokyo. So if you're going to apply to the University of Tokyo, um, you might come in as a PEAK student. And the application process is the same as any other US university. Uh, you have your SAT, your high school grades, um, an essay, interview. Uh, the interview can be a little bit intimidating because it's five professors to just one student. But it was actually, uh, you know, all fine. Right. Um, when I sort of decided universities, um, my number one criteria was the setting, the physical setting. Um, I wanted to go to a big sort of metropolitan city. Mm -hmm. um, and so Tokyo for me is right now the perfect fit. Um, you have so many people from all walks of life here. Um, and it's certainly a different experience from the one I had in, say, New Zealand or Korea, where everything felt quite homogenous. Um, so for those who feel quite adventurous, for those who are very interested in Japan, um, I would definitely recommend to apply to PEAK. So we're both in the PEAK program, as I mentioned before, and we're also in the same track called Japan in East Asia. So it's like your typical East Asian studies uh, major, I guess, in the US. And um, for the first two years, we're in our liberal arts curriculum, so that we call that the junior division. And we're learning about um, very like different things like culture, um, even math, sciences, uh, anything really that the program has to offer. And then we move on to senior division in our last two years where we focus in on like, more of the history and political aspects of East Asia. 
like in both their conceptions, um, when Todai decided to sort of create the peak program, um, their criteria was what are the two problems um, each in the natural sciences and in the social sciences slash humanities that sort of concern Japan the most in the future. And um, Japan and East Asia was one. So as Anna mentioned, um, it covers the broad scope of international relations, history, culture, philosophy. Um, it, it really tries to sort of situate Japan um, in the larger East Asian sort of bloc and in a global scale. Um, and also environmental sciences, it sort of tries to tackle that problem um, that we all face globally. Mm. So I am a part of the University of Tokyo golf team and I am a varsity member on the girls team and I would like to point out the differences between a sports team which is called Bukatsu in Japan and a club which is called Circles in Japan. So Circles are more for social interaction so they don't really focus too much on improving their um, game or sport but they like to go out to drink or go on trips together so it's very like social. However in a Bukatsu you're uh, you have to be more committed. I guess there's more practices um, and you have to act a certain way um, like to your seniors and juniors. And a part of the reason why I'm in a bukatsu instead of a circle is because it provides a lot of networking. So especially the University of Tokyo golf team, it has a lot of prominent members um, that graduated from that golf team. So it's a really good networking system, I guess, this bukatsu. And if you're wanting to uh, get employed in Japan, I think being in a bukatsu is pretty good because um, companies see that you're a very committed person, you're hardworking, and so I think that's one of the main merits. If you like this video and you want to learn more about top universities, then please like and subscribe.